Hi guys, welcome! The Space Odyssey Limited Edition Headwear Gacha Pan series has finally arrived. And in this video, we'll take a closer look at the brand new Little Antenna Treasure Headwear, which is the SSR purple quality headwear from this new gacha pool. We'll give an in-depth testing and comparison of its performance versus the current best-in-slot options. Hopefully, this video can help you decide on whether or not it's worth investing in this new gacha item. Alright, without further ado, let's begin! The Little Antenna Treasure Headwear provides a whopping 25% damage boost to large-sized monsters, but in exchange, you'll receive 15% more damage from large-sized monsters. Thus, this headwear will be an excellent choice for enhancing the damage output of physical classes and soul binders against most MVP boss monsters. Just keep in mind that it also poses a risk to your survivability. Currently, there are only a few sources of the damage to large size stat, with some of them being quite rare and less accessible to new players. Thus, the introduction of the Little Antenna Treasure in this month's Headwear Gacha offers an alternative way to enhance your damage to large size stat, making it easier to activate the inside effect from depositing a Minoris card in the handbook. Another advantage of this new headwear is that you can consider replacing one of your weapon cards with a damage to race modifier card such as Green Petite Card against Dragon Race or Hydra Card against Demi Human Race. You may also explore the use of Lifesteal cards such as Kobold Leader Card, Bakarani Card, or Goblin Leader Star Card to enhance your survivability. For our test, we'll assess the damage output of Raph Gracie, Rune Master, and Soulbinder when using the Little Antenna Treasure headwear and compare it against the damage when equipped with the existing gacha headwear in PvE. For our first test, we'll compare Little Antenna Treasure against 4 other gacha headwear on My Raph Gracie. For all tests, My Raph Gracie will be using the following equipment set which gives the following stat distribution. These stats are with self buffs, mill bees, and 6 stacks of Satisfied Feast. It's important to know that my character already reached a target 80% penetration and 50% skill damage for legend instances even without any headwear. Let's check out my ref Grease's damage against the Fantastic Dragon Galarantan in Ponyphy Museum Island Legend. Here's the damage of my Blade of Order without any headwear, with little antenna treasure, with Duchess of Bat, With plus 6 bashful moment, with holy knight blessing, and with breezy summer. Next, let's try out my Rehreese's damage against the lava golem in Lost Isle Legend. Here's the damage of my Blade of Order without any headwear, with little antenna treasure. With Duchess of Bat, with Plus 6 Bashful Moment, with Holy Knight Blessing, and with Breezy Summer. Based on these tests, Duchess of Bat would be the best option for Ref Greasy against Fantastic Dragon Galarantan with a 16.24% damage boost. Meanwhile, Little Antenna Treasure provided the highest damage boost for Ref Greasy against Lava Golem with a 10.26% damage increase. For a second test, we'll compare Little Antenna Treasure against 4 other gacha headwear on my AARM. For all tests, my AARM will be using the following equipment set which gives the following stat distribution. These stats are with self buffs, mill bees, and 6 stacks of satisfied feast only. It's important to note that my character already reached a target 80% pen and 50% AA damage for legend instances even without any headwear. Let's check out my AARM's damage against the Fantastic Dragon Galarantan in Ponyphy Museum Island Legend. Here's the damage of my auto attack without any headwear. With Little Antenna Treasure, with Duchess of Bat, with Plus 6 Special Moment, with Tipsy Summer, and with Breezy Summer. 
Next, let's try out my ARM damage against the Lava Golem in Lost Isle Legend. Here's the damage of my auto attack without any headwear. With little antenna treasure. With Duchess of Bat. With plus 6 special moment. With Tipsy Summer. And with Breezy Summer. Based on these tests, Duchess of Bat would be the best option for ARM against Fantastic Dragon Galarantan with a 23.30% damage boost. Meanwhile, Tipsy Summer provided the highest damage boost for ARM against Lava Golem with a 15.60% damage increase. And for our last test, we'll compare Little Antenna Treasure against 4 other gacha headwear on My Soul Binder. For all tests, My Soul Binder will be using the following equipment set which gives the following stat distribution. These stats are with self buffs, mill bees, and 6 stacks of original will ice cream only. It's important to know that my character already reached a target 80% M pen and 50% skill damage for legend instances even without any headwear. Let's check out my Soul Binder's damage against the Fantastic Dragon Galarantan in Ponape Museum Island Legend. Here's a spell crit damage of my Esma without any headwear. With Little Antenna Treasure, with Duchess of Bat, with Plus 6 Special Moment, with Holy Night Blessing, and with Music of Soul. Next, let's try out My Soul Binder's damage against the Lava Golem in Lost Eye Legend. Here's the spell crit damage of my Esma without any headwear. With little antenna treasure. With Duchess of Bat. With plus a special moment. With Holy Night Blessing. And with Music of Soul. Based on these tests, Music of Soul still provides the highest damage boost for Soulbinder when facing both Fantastic Dragon Galarantan and Lava Golem with a fixed 25% final damage increase. After conducting a thorough evaluation, we can conclude that while the Little Antenna Treasure headwear may not be the best in slot, it still remains a superb choice for physical classes when facing large-sized boss monsters. For a freezy, Little Antenna Treasure shines as a best in slot when facing large sized monsters which are not inferior to Holy Element, like the Lava Golem and Lost Isle. However, when facing large sized monsters which have an elemental disadvantage against Holy Element, such as the Fantastic Dragon in Museum Island and Ancient Dragon in Ponape's Secret Realm, the Duchess of Bat would be significantly better than Little Antenna Treasure. As for ARM, since my character has inherently high damage to large size stat and average AE damage stat, Tipsy Summer outperformed Little Antenna Treasure by a small margin of 1.34% higher damage. But maybe if I have a Nuka card to replace my Minora Star card, Little Antenna Treasure might outperform Tipsy Summer. Similar to Raph Creasy, Duchess of Bat proved to be the best in slot for my ARM when fighting monsters which are inferior to Holy Element. Finally, for Soul Binders, Music of Soul will still be the best in slot as it offers a fixed 25% final damage increase against large sized monsters, unlike the Little Antenna Treasure, which only provided a 16.70% final damage boost in both instances. Do take note that this analysis is based on my own gameplay experience and observations, and the results could greatly vary according to individual character stats. Hence, use this as a guide only and make your decision based on your own playstyle, budget, and priorities. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.